Okay guys, so we're gonna make some cauliflower pizza crust, but we wanna make it without cheese. So it's gonna be a cheese-less cauliflower pizza crust. So for all those who are lactose intolerant um, and they can't use cheese, well, this recipe is for you. So first we need to grate the cauliflower in order to get two cups of cauliflower. You can either grate it or you can use a food processor as well. Okay, so now that we have our two cups of cauliflower, we're gonna head over to the stove and we're going to dry this out in our pan. We're not gonna add any water, we're not going to add any oil, obviously, because we wanna dry out the extra moisture from the cauliflower. Okay, so now we're gonna put our cauliflower crust together. So here I have one egg. I'm just gonna, as you can see, I just beat the egg to this. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of tapioca flour. Before I incorporate everything, um, I'm going to now add in the cauliflower so that it can help coat the cauliflower, that is the tapioca flour. Um, but I'm going to also put about a quarter teaspoon of oregano and about a quarter teaspoon of some sea salt. Okay. Now I'm going to add in the cauliflower. Now, if you were making this um, with cheese, at this point you would add in your cheese. Okay, so I find this is still a bit wet, so I'm going to add um, some more of the tapioca flour. So this is about another quarter cup. Still feels a bit wet. Let me try adding a little more of the tapioca flour. I'm going to try to work with this and see if um, if this holds together nicely. So that would have been about three quarter cups of the tapioca flour that I added to it. So let's now put it on our baking sheet. Um, now usually you would have to put this on parchment paper, but I have a, um, a silicone pan here that I'm going to use to rest it on. I'm just going to rest it on my silicone pad 
and form it into a pizza crust. All right, so here I have my cauliflower pizza crust. So I'm going to put this into the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, so my cheeseless cauliflower pizza crust is now completed. It smells very nice. I think I should leave it to cool a little before I try to handle it because I don't want it to rip. Careful that you know, sometimes when it's too hot, it actually no, not necessarily. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so let me let it cool a little, and then I will show you how. And then I will lift it up. Okay, guys. So the pizza, the cauliflower pizza crust has cooled down a bit, so that I can handle it. And as you can see, well, it's one whole piece so this would be the base for us to make here we have it this should be the base for us to make our um, pizza our cauliflower pizza so once again thanks for watching I hope this video was helpful and see you in my next video bye for now